Hello you guys, um, we're going to take a little bit of time and we're going to go through and do our guide on our normal distribution. So we're going to do this one with Harry. So Harry has been studying athletic performance of top XFIT athletes. He knows that the winners of the XFIT games can clean N of 191 pounds and comma 20, 25 pounds squared. No cleans are a type of lift. Harry has been following a particularly promising athlete, Jack, who can clean 248 pounds. All right, so we've got a couple of questions on a couple of things that we want to do. Okay, first things first. In here, we are going to do figure out what our mean is. So our mean here uh, was given right here because this is our shorthand notation. So N says that we are normally distributed. 191 pounds is our mean, and 2025 pounds squared is our variance. So mu equals 191, and then we can put in our sigma, and we'll do sigma squared. Oops, sorry about that. Is equal to. 2025. Uh, then if we want to just get our standard deviation, or just sigma, we would say that that is equal to the square root of, let's copy this guy, and paste it in, and we can hit enter, and then when we say what equals sigma, so sigma actually equals 45. All right, so now we've got, we know that we're dealing with a normal distribution. We have a mean of 191, standard deviation of 45. All right, so I'm using this kind of like notation where I am able to just put down some different variables and those variables get stored over in your environment. So you can come over here into your environment and you can see what is actually being stored. So kind of handy. We want to come over here and type things out. So you don't have to use the Greek letters, you know, you could use um, mu, like U's and S's or type out sigma and mu. Anyhow, you, you can do it a couple different ways. Okay, so the next thing that we need to figure out how to do is we need to figure out like, okay, what percent of CrossFitters can clean more than Jack? So what we really need to do is we need to go into our packages and we need to upload our R commander and our plugin. And if you have it already opened, this is your pop-up window that you get. And from here, we need to go to our basic statistics, random variable. We're dealing with a continuous random vari variable here, and let's double check on that. So the units that we are dealing with are pounds, and pounds are a continuous random variable. We can have any particular weight uh, within the range. And so, you know, we could have one pound, we could have 1.125 pounds. There's, you know, weight is a continuous measurement. Un unlike uh, something like number of children or number of free throws made. Those ones are not considered continuous. Okay, so we're going to go to our continuous distributions, normal distribution, and let's go on down to our normal probabilities. We can click right here. Okay, so in our normal probabilities, the first thing that it asks for is for the normal distribution's parameters. So right here for the mean, we can type in 191, and our standard deviation, we can grab 45, because that's what we've got. And we can say, okay, we want to know these probabilities. And it says from and to. So now we kind of need to figure out what is our question asking. So the question that we're asking here is what percent of, or on our first part, is what percent of exit competitors can clean more than Jack? Or that's saying what's the probability that a randomly selected person from these, of these exfitters, whatever, um, who can do more than Jack? And Jack can do 200 and 48. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put from 248 here, and we could type in infinity here, or if you don't want to put any bound on it, you can just leave it alone. And then let's go ahead and just click apply real quick. So we'll click apply. And it's going to give us this, it's like about 10% or more. And But we want to double check and make sure it's like, is this the right thing that we want? So up here in our normal probabilities, we have the option where we can click plot region. Go ahead and click that. You can change the colors of the region if you want. I'll change mine to like this blue. And I'm going to click apply again. 
And this time we have, okay, let's check and make sure that our distribution looks right. So here's our distribution. It's centered at uh, 191 and has a standard deviation of 45. So over here in our notation, the second value is the variance. And in, um, in R, the second value oftentimes is our standard deviation. It really doesn't matter which one we use to fully define it, but how it's graded in my open math, the second one is our variance. The easiest way to tell the difference is with the units, um, because if the units are squared from what the mean is, you know that you have the variance as well. Anyhow, so this is our graphic. So this is the plot of the standard or of the normal distribution of the clean weights of crossfitters or these X fitters. And we said that uh, Jack can do 148 pounds. We want to know how many, what, what percent, or if we were to randomly select somebody else, what's the probability that they could clean more than Jack? And there, it's about 10% of individuals. And that's, that's literally all you have to do. That's, that's the answer. What's the percentage? And so it gives it to you in graphical form, and it also kicks it out for you right down here in our... Uh, in our code. So, kind of handy. Okay, let's go down to the next one. So, Harry also knows that just being able to have a massive clean is not a perfect indicator that contestants will do well at the games. In fact, winners have had a clean weight between 175 and 242 pounds. What percentage of CrossFit athletes are within the optimal zone for clean weights? Okay, well, this is actually super easy. All we have to do is we come back to our normal probabilities and we just tell them the range that we're looking at. We're looking at 175 to 240, uh, not 7, 242. Again, let's plot the region and we'll just click apply. And we come here and it shows us here is the range for what for where winners uh, have had their clean weights. So somewhere between 175 and 242. So it says what percent of the exit athletes are within the optimal zone for the clean weights. And so we've got 51 cent and we click that and Lo and behold, we got 51. Now notice here how we have it, it's rounded to four places. If you want the really extended long one, here it is. It's that 0 0.51037, and if we go over here, um, we're pretty much the exact same. Anyhow, so we can get that full long string if you want. If I were answering these, I wouldn't be typing in anything. I would be grabbing my values straight from our studio, copying them, and pasting them straight in. And the nice thing about this is that uh, our, uh, our commander will sometimes give you things in like scientific notation. It'll sometimes give it to you in this notation. And my open math can, will understand about all of it. You can just kind of paste it in and it'll, it'll do its thing. All right, next part. Harry knows that athletes at the bottom 11% of the clean weight are not able to compete at the national championships. What is the minimum clean weight to be able to enter into the national championship competition? Okay, so if we look over here, just kind of at this graphic, we can ignore this shaded area, but we want to see like where is the bottom 11%. So notice how this shaded area is basically like 50% of that area under the curve. So now we're looking for, it's like where is 11%? And I'm just going to make a guess. So my guess is maybe it's like mm, 125 pounds is maybe pretty close to where the bottom 11% get cut from the national championship uh from the national championships. So when we're doing a question like this where they give us the probability and want to know the critical value, these are what are called uh, quantile questions. So we'll get out of here and our commander has got a tool for this. We can go to basic statistics, random, continuous, normal, and we go over to the quantiles. Okay, so the probabilities here that we are given is 11%. Our mean is still 191. And our standard deviation is 45. Now it just asks here for the lower tail and the upper tail, and this is really important. Um, it has to do with which side of the distribution are, do we want the area from uh, for, for the 11% to count? Do we want it to start counting from the top and give us the very, very top 11%? That would be the upper tail. Or do we want the bottom 11% where it's giving us the smallest 11% of the values? And for us, we want these uh, bottom 11% because they say the bottom 11% are the worst, that the people with these um, worst cleans are not able to go into the national championships. So if I go ahead and click OK here, it tells me that the answer is 135. 
Now, my guess that I had was like 125 pounds. And while I was wrong, it got me into the ballpark. And if we take a look at this, it gives me the answer, 135 pounds. So that is how you can use R Commander to help you determine uh, these normal probability questions. Hope that that helps out.